I love that. Yeah, hell, that's fantastic. When I wrote Carry On, I was like eight or nine months pregnant, and uh, I was also, we had decided to kind of move to a different part of the world. So it was a lot of change happening at the same time. And in itself, having a, another child, my, my daughter was five at that time, and she'd been an only child for a very long time, and I was very scared and nervous about what bringing a new child into this family dynamic would do to my relationship with my daughter and my relationship with my husband and my relationship with myself. And um, so it's a little bit of, of that, of when, when something ends, something new begins, but what you had is gone forever, you never get it back. And sort of it's like, it's the same thing when you move to a new place. Uh, you're scared because you don't know what's going to happen, but at the same time, if you don't open yourself to the opportunity of something new happening, then you miss out on so many things that you wouldn't have otherwise had. time to let go how can you tell when it is time to farewell all things have a season it all comes to an end it's hard to follow reason when the heart won't time to make a change how can you tell when it all feels so strange to leave friends behind for unknown things to find whether it makes sense we will only learn in time whether it makes sense we will only Oh 